There, space wizards, plastic spacemen, and rebel princesses. This is Todd Hoffman and Trent Hoffman, and you're listening to Big T and Little T, a Star Wars podcast. Welcome to episode 184. Today, we're going to be looking at episode 7 of the Acolyte called Choice. Trent will be joining me a little, little bit later for a quick review of the episode, but he is here in Jedi Force Spirit. Uh, again, we're, we're rocking Fortnite wrecked reloaded is a cool map that we've been playing a lot of, um, as the season kind of winds down here, I think it goes through July, but we're just having fun playing it. There is a Magneto crossover, uh, that came through, which was fun. And we're just trying to continue to level up here and you can follow us at twitch.tv forward slash big t little t and we'll be streaming that stuff uh yeah so fourth of july was last last week had a great time we went to my buddy jason's house and had fun with uh his family and we got to see fireworks and swimming and all that kind of fun stuff uh and then we went to the zoo and we saw some koala bears little e ellie is obsessed with koala bears and we got to see some and it was so much fun uh found out that trent was dropping some some fun facts that koalas are less active than sloths and then we found out why because the eucalyptus plant that the koalas eat is actually poisonous to them but somehow through god's green wonderful nature thing it basically breaks down the poison and they're able to eat it and get all the nutrition and water they need uh but yeah they are so cute so they're like little teddy bears like they're just so cute oh my gosh and so uh ellie might have lost her mind but uh yeah it was fun uh, we saw Despicable Me 4, so that's the new Despicable Me movie. Um, it was great. We had such a great time. We went with our uh, Jen's sister and her husband and cousin and niece. Uh, it was great. It was great. We had, we had a good time um, and just had fun. It's, it's a perfect summer movie for the family. Lots of laughs. Uh, it was great. I mean, di definitely a different tone than uh, Inside Out 2. Obviously, Inside Out 2 is, like, more adult-orientated, but it's still good for kids. Like, But this was a kid's comedy. There's just so much going on. And obviously, with the Minions, there's always shenanigans. And it's great. But they didn't have our Bob Stewart, Kevin thing, so... Uh, the kids were like, what, what happened to them, man? What's going on with them? So yeah, so there's that, but it was super fun. Um, doing some house stuff, clean some carpets this weekend and we start painting Ellie's room. So we're doing Ellie's room in a new color. I know it's going to be surprising, but she wants some pink. So we're doing that, which is great and just having fun, um, doing that and then we saw fall guy so fall guy was with ryan gosling and you know that what is her name i'm blanking on her name why can't i think of her name oh geez it's gonna bother me hold on uh what is her name Typing into the Google machine. Uh, yeah, what? Please. Emily Blunt. That is Emily Blunt. There you go. Um, man, was this good. It was so good, so good, so good. Uh, I really enjoyed this film. Um, and again, I don't, I don't know why 
they dropped it to digital. I mean, unfortunately, that's 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 how we saw it, but it was crazy. It was crazy. So, um, really, really good film. Definitely worth the watch. I would highly recommend it. And again, loosely based off of um, the other film, but yeah, it was good. So the original um, Fall Guy was a TV show in the 80s, I think, and uh, starred Lee Majors as Colt Seavers. And Colt Seavers is, that's what Ryan Gosling plays. So um, that was kind of a cool kind of shout out. And I honestly don't know the, the connection there, but... It is a nod to the the kind of '80s show, and really at the you know what Colt Seaver is 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 like a Hollywood stuntman, but he's also a bounty hunter. Um, so yeah, there's a little shtick there. But um, man, this film is so good. I like the idea of like it's a movie inside of a movie, which is so fun. And I think uh, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt have great chemistry, and I loved Aaron Taylor. Johnson uh, as this other guy called Tom Ryder. He's like the main movie guy. And that's who Colt Seavers is kind of backing up. And it's it's just so much fun. So you have to check that out. Okay. So uh, that's all the catch up to do. So let's move on to um, the Acolyte. All right, so the Acolyte, we, oof, wow, it's kind of all over the place here. Um, it's, okay, so really this one is called Choice. And so the, the tagline here is, a bitter truth is revealed. So this was kind of teased in the last episode or basically uh, Soul has May captured, uh, stunned her, and basically captured on the ship. And Soul's like, I'm going to tell you everything. So it's another flashback episode, which is okay. Uh, but again, you're, see- you're kind of rehashing season or episode three, which again wasn't our favorite episode, but basically. We're going back to Ben Dock 16 years earlier. We understand that um, we get to see Andara, Torben, Kelnaka, and Sol, and they're doing vegetation samples. Um, and then we find out what is going on. We get to see Kelnaka holding a minesweeper. We get to see Kelnaka cooking some turkey burgers or something like some pork stuff. Uh, I think it's a, actually, I think it's a Nuna, Nun, Nunya or something. But um, it's interesting that uh, at this time we understand that Torben is feeling homesick and wants to go back to Coruscant. Um, and they're talking about a virgence on the planet, which is causing life. And yeah so that's why they're there and so they're trying to understand what this concentration of force energy is coming through and so that's why it's something that they're trying to understand how life on the planet was created and it's worth stuttering and protecting is really what they say um and, you know, they, they believe it's an important mission for the Jedi to do, which makes sense. Um, so they are talking about, where you know, where is this virgin's at? What triggered the life explosion on Bendok? And that's what they're kind of looking at. Um, and there's some discussion about soul and uh, and Dara have this conversation about Torben and this distraction. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that they kind of split up. 
and so Sol heads kind of northern, and that is where he finds the tree um, that we've seen in episode three. And then we get to see a different side of the discussion between May and Osha. That's the same thing about the butterfly thing and Andara's trying to he's trying to reach Andara on Comlink. So then he's like, okay, well, I'm gonna follow these guys. And he scales this wall on the Bendak Fort Fortress. Uh and essentially he gets to see uh and mother nisha kind of talk to them talk to the twins and so we get to see this confrontation from a different perspective so so then he goes back to our in dara and tells them about like hey we got witches there's there's they have, they have younglings and we should try to seek the council and understand what it is um and because soul fears their life is in danger. Um, and yeah, so basically Indara is like, okay, let's go there. And so they go to their Kalnaka kind of hot wires things and makes it happen. They get on the elevator control and then we get to see the confrontation again from a different perspective. We get to see essentially Torben how uh mother and dara anisha i mean um like got to get inside her head and just say the word and blah 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 that he wanted to go back to coruscant it was interesting that was kind of an interesting little sequence um and just kind of essentially like kind of seduces him and like understands like what what you're really looking at um Torben's kind of messed up after that and then they kind of just talk about we get to see a little bit of interaction between Indara and Sol uh and understand like he really wants to she feels like we should they should test the twins we get to see the testing from a different perspective it's fun we get to see some screenshots of Wampa Lothcat a gonk droid um and stuff like that and we get to hear a little bit more about the session uh, ascension ascension ceremony am i saying that right yes i am um yeah and so there's just a little bit of we get to see a little bit of that play out um and then you know really it's just we get to see torben do the blood sample and so there's a lot of rehashing of what we saw in episode three um we get to see that you know the witches are dangerous and and then again we get the m count and we see that they're usually high unusually usually high uh, so and he makes a comment that the twin they're not twins because they're same symbiote so so it, it basically says the twins are really artificially created, which we kind of knew and possibly tapping into the power to essentially split one consciousness into two bodies. And so says only a virgins can create that kind of power. Believing the girls are in danger. That's where it's like, Hey, we got to go. So Torben Torben's like, we got to go. And so Torben and Soul meet up and it's like, okay, Soul's we're gonna handle this. Um and yeah, it's just a little bit weird after this. Um I'm not gonna get yeah, so we get to see it although we get to see Kelnaka gets possessed and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm gonna let little T come in here and say what he gotta say about this. So check it out. Yo, 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 yo. big T little T in the house. Ouch. It's Shark Week. But it's also Acolyte Week, Week. baby. Uh, Episode seven in the books. It was okay. Uh, well, because it <laughs> directly reminded of us episode three. We got we, so we got our flashback. We, so we we've we found out the truth. 
the end. Yeah. Um, but hey, man, we got Kanaka yeah, back. Yeah. Do a little mind sweeping. And we've she, got she to. Was, she, the girl who was controlled, she was not the greatest. No. This is her. She had. She tried to do big, like slashes, not like. Yeah. Graceful like a uh, samurai. Yeah. But we like Kelnaka. We got to finally see a Wookiee and a lightsaber, and it was awesome. Amazing. Believe who's was the wait in uh, Clone Wars? Was that Kelnaka, the little Chewbacca? No, that guy is. Well, I like that guy. What is his name? I don't know. Oh gosh, what is his name? It's gonna drive me crazy. Cause he was in Bad Batch too. Yes. We like him. Yes. We love him. Mhm. But I can't remember his name. It's gonna drive me crazy. Me too. Well, anyways, uh, so you liked it, but yes. the only reason we don't like it is because of Remanda's episode three. But. Mm. Just like, uh, I like, know. It's like, what hey, did you? So, it's like, it's, do you think? Okay, so when the mother like disappeared into the dark cloud and yes. then so like stabbed her. Yes. Do you think she was just trying to teleport to to Osha? Is that what she was gonna or do? Or May? But then, Karen, Mandalorian Jedi or witch, she she does the same thing, but she leaves. And then we see them all meditating together. Uh, and then they control Kanaka, you know. Because I think one witch cannot control that beast. Mm, that's just, true. Kanaka's yes, Kanaka is stronger than, say, Torben, where she's like, just bow and you can go to Coruscant or whatever. Yeah, he, he his mind is... Yeah, which is very kind of witch-like anyways. Yeah. I, I didn't mind that part. I was just... It looked sketch when she started vaporizing into that black mist. I was yeah, like, Yeah, I thought he was gonna do something, but he's like, But she's like, I was just gonna go. Well, why don't you just do that instead of doing this weird teleportation like, thing? She looks like she, it's like, Cause a, like, like a if, demon. If, if they were gonna do some black mist, I had done exactly what soul did but but and he chose which one to remember when he fell yeah so that's the other thing we got to see what why soul is all torn up is because he chose osha over may because <gasps> we didn't we didn't see so again in three we saw them in the scaffolding looking at each other like oh we're separated but we what we didn't see is soul actually holding up both platforms with the force yes yeah. But do you know what? Do what? you know what he could have done? He could have made it up. He could have just force pushed the one over the other side. Yeah, he could have done it. Wouldn't that make the most sense? Yeah, or he could have made some kind of like, hey, kind of like make it force together and they she can hop over, drop the other one, they're both on, come back, and they're both safe. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like uh, the girl who with the most sass would probably be the hardest. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, no, I want to be evil witch. And I wanted my mommy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's called, uh, your mom's a witch. What do you expect? Yeah. You, like, one day you're going to die. It's called, yeah. you live. But I do, but I do like, I, this is the the very famous Japanese movie, uh, Roshan or Rosh, something like that. And they do this where we get to see the different sides. And we finally got to see the whole thing play out, which was nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah. Seven, seven and three. Eh. So how many T's are we giving this one? A five out of ten. Five T's, yeah. That's an F, basically. An F. Basically, about fifty percent. Yeah, because half of that's fifty, so yeah, that's yeah. About seventy percent. The the A plus was Kalnaka, but it was it was possessed Kalnaka, you know. Yeah, but. it would be it just. It is cool. I would love to learn the art styles of just like mm. there's this thing in California where they actually learn. I'm like, mm. I, I know Torben kind of held his own with the. He was kind of doing his thing with his lightsaber, but then he got choke slammed to the brother brother with and, Kelnaka. And his eye. Yeah, Kelnaka messed him up. Yeah, it's not good. I'm but not I, it wouldn't mess me up in such a way that. I have to meditate for ten years, but you know. You know you could you could have force healed. Yes. 
he was weak anyways. I don't think he was meant to be a Jedi. Like, he, he kind of... He's like, I just want to go back to Coruscant and play with my power converters and my little models or something. <laughs> I don't know. And he's like, I want to go home and eat some apple Yeah, water. I want to get some... I want to get some uh, Ronto wraps and some Yub Nub Chub Chub <laughs> chicken or something. and Or like... And it's been seven weeks, so uh, it would it would kind of. So here here's my uh, here's my prediction. We we finally got to see why Soul and I'm just calling her Trinity. I don't I forget her her Jedi name, but we got to see Trinity set the lie up, and they all acted on the lie. And Soul, what lie? Uh, the lie that May started the fire and all that. Like that's not true. She actually killed him through trying to free Kalnaka. They couldn't say, hey, we were trying to help the big yeah, Wookiee in the back. Yeah, the Wookiee. And, Wookie, your, and Wookie your, want... your mom's friends were trying to kill him, kind of, maybe after. Yeah, so. So we, I had to kill, like, all, all the friends, and that would make more sense. She'd be like, so oh. essentially, So essentially, we're letting, this episode was Soul telling May what actually happened. But I, my bold prediction is that. May is going to be empathetic and like where Osha is with obviously Darth Toothy and I think she is going to be the new acolyte. No, Osha is... The... Osha's the good one, but I think she's... Right now she's with the stranger and she put on the helmet. That's where he last left yeah, her. Yeah, but it's like that little crack. I How know. you see... Ooh, I don't know. I have a prediction about the crack. All right, tell me about the crack. He probably used to like, like you know how like some like um I've heard this uh, theory or not a theory but like some boy who's blind but he uses echolocation. Yes, yes, your other senses are heightened, and that's what he was kind of say like the helmet a uh, distract does not it keeps you uh, it distracts you you know like you're. You're so distracted, but then it's just you inside the helmet. So that's, that is, yeah. I will both would make that helmet. Mm-hmm. All right, so your bold predictions. What? What prediction again? <laughs> My prediction is that Osha is actually the new acolyte. The good twin is going to be the new acolyte to Darth Toothy, the stranger. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. Or they do allow it. <laughs> I mean, but I don't... But then again, it's like, how are they going to end it? Are they... One's going to kill the other, or they were just going to leave it at... Who knows? Hmm. Tune in next... next Tune in next week, guys, where we find out the final conclusion. But we'll see. And they both die in lava. Oh, boy. The (laughs) end. (laughs) Yeah. Then Dark Toothy goes mentally insane. No, I love Dark Toothy. We can't... We can't... Dark Toothy is the best. I imagine, like, imagine all. Uh, I need Soul to live and Dark Toothy to live. Yeah. Yes. So. All right. Imagine, like, uh, you know. Yep. Uh, last you know, thing. Uh, you know how, uh, what's his name? One insane, um, Darth Maul. Mmm. Imagine, mm-hmm. like, uh, it would be cool, like, a Darth Sith that he went mentally insane, and that's all he's, he's just on, just angry. That would be sick. And, like, how he, like. I, if they could somehow tie. Because his helmet's definitely very Knights of Ren. If they can tie it somehow and to, like, really kind of, like, push that towards Knights of Ren and Kylo Ren, that's going to be even cooler. But Imagine, I don't Imagine, no, you can do Kylo Ren's mask and with Dark Toothies. Mm-hmm. All right. Big yeah. T, little T, five T's for this one. No, three and a half. Woo. The A plus. <laughs> what? So far. It's pretty low. It's the, pretty low, but episode ab- was... episode five is A plus. That lightsaber stuff was good. Yeah. And last week was good too. Yeah. Yeah. But the A plus is Kalnaka. Just just yeah. Kalnaka. Kalnaka without Kalnaka, it would be it, it, Kalnaka l- raises up a little bit. So. I know. No, it'll be a four now because of. Kalnaka. Okay, there we go. Four T's. Yes. That's where we land. All right, big T, little T, we out. Peace. Bye. Bye. Okay, you can see that we got things to say about this episode. Uh, so there you have it. That's our 
that's our review of the choice from the acolyte so hey what is your favorite thing about the seventh episode of the acolyte email us at big t little t podcast at gmail.com we love to hear what your thoughts are what you're what you got what are you excited about for this last episode what are you gonna see um should be interesting if everything goes the way it goes i i'm still kind of firmly convinced that osha is turning bad and may is turning good but that could be maybe two on the nose i don't know i need something to surprise me still waiting for yoda i'm surprised we haven't seen yoda but whatevs here we go all right so thanks again for listening to another episode space wizards plastic spacemen and rebel princesses of listening to big t little t episode 184 in the books you can find us on the socials big t little t podcast on instagram b-l-i-l-t podcast on twitter and then like i said you can follow us on twitch twitch.tv forward slash big t little t okay we're super close on 200 followers on twitch so if you haven't followed us yet do that and we're really close to getting to a thousand i know that's crazy but big t little t podcast and instagram if we hit one of those we're gonna we're gonna do giveaways for both so please please give us a follow on instagram twitter and twitch we would love that but yeah we're so close on both of those and so those are kind of big numbers so we're gonna we're gonna celebrate hey we got stickers for you man we want to hear from you so comment tweet rate us on apple Podcasts, give a five-star review on the old spotify and all that fun stuff uh and you can drop us a question or give us a rating at big t little t podcast at gmail.com we love to read that in an upcoming episode uh and throw swag your way man let's do it we got some new stickers got a new like kind of eight bit thing going on and all this fun stuff so yeah check check it out we we want to give want to give some swag your way so uh just drop us a question or give us a rating next week we'll be talking about episode eight the final episode of the acolyte and now remember truly wonderful the mind of the child is and may the force be with you always bye 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 to say his name. Stand up wherever you are. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Steve! What the hell's going on? I... Gentlemen, welcome Darby Allen and Steve. Oh my God! It's Steve. He's back from injury. He's back. And I think it's going to be a, maybe a bad ending for the Gun Club. It's Steve. 
The hairs are standing up on the back of my neck, boys. It's Sting! Oh, boy, the plot thickens. Oh, my God! Look at Jericho turn! Look at the snow! It's Sting! I love it! Listen to the ovation for Sting! 